y'all, it's Melissa. I write the site Melly Sews and I design blank slate patterns and I'm usually much better at my print matching than what I'm wearing today, but this project is actually what we're going to be making today. I'm going to show you how to make this knit beanie hat in about 10 minutes using one piece of fabric. These are really great for last minute quick holiday gifts and I've got instructions for how to make them in all sizes, from newborn up to adults. So um, I'm gonna put a link down here in the description, and also if you can see the notes, I've got a link up here to a blog post about how to make this pattern and what measurements you're going to use. And then you're going to go ahead and cut out your fabric, and we're going to start sewing a beanie hat. So here are my materials. I've just got one large piece of knit fabric here that I've cut out according to the pattern. Now you can see that when you had the pattern, if you looked at the post about how to make that, that you cut this one edge on the fold. So um, the first step here is actually going to be to fold the um, hat right sides together and you want to fold each of these dart seams is what you're matching. So um, I'm actually going to fold it like this so that I can sew those two darts. And then down here I'll be matching up the bottom darts. There's one side. There's the other. And just kind of smooth out my fabric so that I've got all of those darts all at once where I can sew both of those and both of these. I'm going to do that on my machine using a um, very slightly stretchy stitch. It, I've got my zigzag set, set to um, one millimeter wide and um, three millimeters long. So it's a pretty narrow zigzag and then a, a medium stitch length. And I'm just going to line that up on my machine and stitch right across. Okay, so you can see that I have stitched each of the four darts here. And um, what I need to do is on each of the darts, because you can see I stitched them right past the edge of the fabric there. I just lined up the presser foot with the edge of the, um, the raw edge of the fabric. So that means that in order for these darts to fully open, I have to snip into the corner on each one. So I'm just snipping that little extra bit of fabric so that these darts can open flat and you can see on this one I'll show you what I mean after I snip it so now the whole dart all the way down to the end can open flat it doesn't have that end pushing it up now that I've got those laying flat um, able to lay flat I'm going to fold my hat in half back on that fold line where I cut it and I'm going to match up the darts on the top and bottom of the hat and I'm going to match all the raw edges. So as I match darts I'm kind of pressing them just finger pressing them open. You could um, you could definitely go and iron these open or pin them to make sure that they stay really nice and flat. And then I'm just lining up the rest of the raw edges of my hat. Now this is the hat and the lining all in one piece. So um, half of this will be seen on the outside and half of it will be on the inside. All right, now that I've got those edges basically lined up, I might add a couple pins before I totally stitch this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch from the folded edge across the dart all the way around the curve. And as soon as I get around the curve, I'm gonna leave an opening that's about an inch and a half to two inches wide. And that's gonna be for turning the hat right side out. And then I'm gonna continue to stitch 
all the way around the rest of the hat. So let's go ahead and I will do that. And again, I'm using about a quarter inch seam allowance and I am using a zigzag stitch on my machine. It's, um, I'm going to make it a little bit wider to add a little bit more stretch. So I've got it set to two millimeters wide and three millimeters long stitch length. Okay, so you can see now how I've stitched and that was the last seam that I need to sew on my machine. This will get finished with hand sewing in just a second. So I stitched around, I've got a gap here where I picked up my needle and then stitched around the bottom. Um, all I need to do now, I'm going to cut these threads from the gap that I left and I'm going to turn through that hole, I'm going to turn my hat right side out. Okay, hey, you'll, you'll notice when you turn it right side out that at first it still doesn't look like a hat. It looks like you've sewn a big um, bean shaped thing with a hole in it. So here's how this turns into a hat. Um, at the halfway point is where this is going to be turned. So um, take one end of the hat and kind of where all those um, darts matched up, you're going to hold your fingers there and then you're going to push that in to the other side of the hat and what you're doing is you're pushing the line, the part that we're using as the lining into the part that's going to be the outside of the hat. So now you can see that I've got a hat and it's right side out either way. So either side could be the right side of this hat, whichever we wanted, unless you've got a directional print and there's a certain way you want the print to be going. I've still got a problem of on that seam though that I've got this hole. So let me um, let me zoom the camera in and I will show you. We are going to use a regular needle and thread to close this up. This is a blind stitch. It's also called a ladder stitch. So first I'm going to poke the needle through the bend or the fold um, from the seam allowance on one side. And then I'm just going to hold these seam allowances together with um, folded in towards each other. And so I'm holding these edges folded in against each other and I'm going to just go parallel to the edge right along the fold there and make one stitch and then in the exact same place along the other fold make another stitch. And you'll see why this is called a ladder stitch in a second here. Um, I'm leaving my stitches fairly loose as I stitch. I'm pulling and just going back and forth from one fold to the other and then pushing the needle through parallel right on that fold. So you can see how this creates like a ladder of stitches between the two folds and when you pull that a little bit tighter it invisibly closes up that seam. So I'm going to go ahead and finish stitching out this little hole. Okay, so there I am. That hole is all closed up. I'm pulling my stitches tighter there and then making sure that um, they're laying flat. I did not do a great job of pattern matching there. That's what I get for not pinning. And then I'm just going to take my needle through one of the folds and um, go ahead and knot my thread. I usually prefer for this to be the inside of the hat, so I will flip it this way. And then um, going to go ahead and cuff the hat. So you can see right here, there's, there's my hat and here I can put it on my head. And I've got a little bit of a slouchy beanie.